Hello everyone. In this module, we will get started with using developer tools to create Power BI custom visuals. Your custom visuals allow you to meet your user's need and match your app's design. So the agenda for this module will be to get started with Power BI custom development. In this video, we will first go ahead and install Node.js 4.0 and install Power BI Visual Tools using NPM and set up the server certificate and enabling live preview of developer visual within the Power BI app service and finally creating a new visual with Visual Studio Code and running the sample visual. So as I walk you through this video, I will make sense of each and every step and why they are required in the grand scheme of developing a Power BI custom visual. So before developing the Power BI custom visuals, I would like to show you this page, which is the marketplace of various custom visuals developed by different companies. They are partners of Microsoft and they are published here. So after the end of this video tutorial, I will give you a decent idea of how to go about the Power BI custom visual development. And you can also come up with your own idea of representing the data, representing the relationships between the data points and build your own custom visual. And once it is approved, even your visual will come up over here in the marketplace. In order to create a custom visual, you will need to install Node.js and Node.js is required to run the command line tools. Specifically, Node.js version 4 or later is required, but in fact, Microsoft recommends you to use Node.js version 5 or later. So to install Node.js, just go to the website nodejs.org and for the 64-bit version of Windows, you have two different options. One is the current one with the latest features and the uh, second one is the most stable one. So just go and download that. You can download the LTS one. So once the installation gets downloaded, just go and say next, next, next and uh, follow the custom process to install Node.js in your system. So I've already done that and this is not actually required for my installation. So to confirm that Node.js is installed successfully on your system, just type npm and it will throw the version and the different details of your npm. So which means that your Node.js is installed successfully. And what is npm? NPM is a package manager for Node.js packages or modules and NPM hosts thousands of free packages to download and use. And this NPM program is automatically installed on your computer when you install Node.js. Once you have this NPM, you will use this NPM to install Power BI Visual Tools from the NPM library. So I will say NPM install g indicates that I need to install this globally and the name of the package is Power BI Visuals Tool. So I've already installed this with me. So I will not go and execute this command. So what I request you to do is you execute this command to download the Power BI visual tools. To verify that the tools are installed successfully, you can have the command pbiviz and you should get some message which is similar to this, which indicates that the Power BI visual tools is installed successfully on the system. This PBIVIZ command is a very important command and we will be using that to develop the custom visuals. After installing Power BI Visual Tools from NPM, we need to install a server certificate to enable a live preview of our visual. So before we start, we will need to install an SSL certificate which will allow visual assets in the Power BI service to be loaded from our local development environment. And this is just a one-time setup for your developer workstation. So to create a certificate, you will use the PBIVIZ command and just say create cert. 
and it generates a certificate at this particular location and if you go to that location you will be able to see the pfx certificate that's been generated that will allow us to communicate with the power bi service so once you create the certificate you need to go and install that so to install the certificate just say install cert the install certificate command might throw some error so if it throws some error what you can do is go to the path where the certificate is installed and go and manually install the certificate install it to the current user and note the file name and here for the password just enter the password that it has given and go and install it within your trusted root certification authorities and once you install that you will be able to contact to your server using ssl encryption and once you install the certificate the next step is to go to power bi to enable live preview of your developer visual so to enable live preview just go to your settings and go to settings page and go to the developer page and just select enable developer visual for testing this is required because as and when you make code changes within your local environment you would like those changes to be picked up by the app.powerbay.com service and for that you need to enable this particular option and now i guess you are able to make sense why we need to install that certificate locally that's basically because we need to establish the trust between your local system and the app.powerbay.com which is up there in the server so now let's come back to the command prompt and create a new visual so let me get rid of this command and navigate to the d drive and navigate to the particular location that i have within the visuals and over here just say pbiviz new you need to use the new command and just give a visual name so i'm going to give this name as demo visual and say enter so it will go ahead and create the visuals the packages and it will set up a development environment for you locally so to check that environment you can go to your file explorer and within that particular location you can see it has created a new folder called demo visual and within that it has created lots of different assets so to view all these assets let me open my visual studio code and in case if you are wondering what is visual studio code visual studio code is nothing but a lightweight editor that can be used across all different platforms like mac os linux and windows and it is the cousin of visual studio and it is used much uh, frequently for web development projects so, so we are doing something related to web development so i am going to use visual studio code which is uh, very popular these days and i request you to also stick with visual studio code to develop this particular custom visual so to install visual studio code go to google and just type visual studio code and usually it will be the uh, first link so just go ahead and download that and depending upon your environment choose the installer or the package and it is free and very easy to install once you are done with the installation just go to visual studio code and say a new window within the visual studio page just say open folder and here select the demo visual project that's how your project looks within your visual studio code they have lots of different folders and lots of different files we will go through them one by one in the next video tutorial but for now i would like to run the boilerplate visual that it has thrown up so to do that go to your power bi service and within your power bi service just pick up any different report and i have already loaded a few data sets so we have an employee data set and a sales data set and before we see the power bi visual that uh, forms the part of this particular project we need to go and run the project or run the server 
so let me go to my command prompt and change the directory to my demo visual and once i am within the demo visual context i will go and start the project so this will basically start my server and note that your server is listening on port 8080 once the server is running come to your power bi service and edit a new report and over here just click on this developer visual you will get a visual which says update count as zero that's basically because if you come to the source and if you come to the visual.ts which which contains the code for our visual here in this code i am printing out update count and that's why you are getting this particular text in your visual in the next video tutorial we will explore more on this code and get started with power bi visual thank you